Welcome to episode 1 of Let's Learn LaTeX. Today we're going to be using TechMaker to make our first LaTeX document. Before we begin making our first LaTeX document, we're going to need to download TechMaker and MicTech. Both of these are available for free online and their links are in the description. Once you have both of these downloaded and installed, you'll want to open up TechMaker and you'll be brought to a screen that looks similar to this. To begin typing your document, you're going to want to come over here to the left hand corner of the screen and hit the new tab. Now you can see you can begin typing. Before we begin our document, we're going to want to tell the compiler what type of document we'd like to make. So here we're going to type in backslash document class. And as you saw, I started typing document and it popped up down below and I was able to just hit enter and get me here. So once I'm here, the first box, we're going to type in the font size. So we're going to be using 12 point font for this document. The second area that I can type something into is going to tell the compiler what type of document I'm typing. Here we're going to use an article. Now for this document, we're going to ha want to use two other packages. So we're going to use AMS Theorem, come down here, and AMS THM. We're also going to want to use package AMS Math. And we're going to want to use AMS Symbol. So before we even begin our document, so let's title our document Introduction to LaTeX. So we're going to type in backslash title and let's call it Introduction to LaTeX. Now we can also tell the author and let's call us Let's Learn Calculus. So now we see if we hit the quick build button, we're going to get some error. And we don't even have our document begun yet, so we shouldn't be able to see anything anyways. But what that error is telling us is it's telling us that we haven't saved anything yet. So let's come down to save, choose where you'd like to save this document. And now we have it saved. So now if we come over here to quick build, we'll see that we have another error down below. That's because we don't have a document to begin compiling. So come down another couple lines, hit backslash, begin, document. This tells the compiler that you've begun the document now you see if you hit quick build, there is no file found, but at least some sort of PDF popped up on the right hand side of the screen. If you type in a few letters, you'll see that we now have a fully functioning document. So what we see is that we gave our, we gave our document a title and an author, but we don't see any of that here. So what we need to do is we need to tell the document to make the title. So backslash make title. And now if we do a quick build, We'll see Introduction to LaTeX by Let's Learn Calculus on March 3rd, 2015. So we want to add a little bit of organization to our document, so we can chunk it off into sections. So if we just backslash section, here we can title our first section. And if we come up to Quick Build, we see that we have one, the first section. But let's say we don't like that one being there, we can add an asterisk right next to section, and if we do the Quick Build again, it'll fix it. So let's just begin by doing just a quick, simple math problem. Let's prove that the sum of any three consecutive integers is a multiple of three. So now we see that if we build, we'll have our first section, and then we'll have the document saying, prove that the sum of any three consecutive integers is a multiple of three. So what we want to do now is we want to use the proof environment, which comes from AMS theorem. So let's go down the line, hit begin, proof. And as we see, those autocomplete. So I can just hit enter and I have begin proof, end proof, that is our full proof environment. If I type a couple letters in there and hit quick build, we see that I have proof, my line of letters, and then it ends with the box. So let's actually begin our proof. So let n, n is in dollar signs, denoting that it's in math mode, be an integer. That's great and all, but let's try to shorten that a little bit. So if we were to just hit compile, that's what it would say, let n be an integer. But here we can say let n backslash in math bb capital Z. And that'll give us the math, the n is in double Z. So n is an integer. And that comes from the AMS symbol package. So let's consider three consecutive integers. 
and each of those would be n, n plus 1, and n plus 2. Now here we will consider the sum, and let's just make it fancy, put it in the center. So here we'll begin center, as we hit enter, we'll see begin center and end center, that means everything between these two lines will be centered. So we will have in math mode n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2 is equal to 3n plus 3, which is equal to 3 times n plus 1. So now if we do our quick build, we'll see that we have n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2 is equal to 3n plus 3 is equal to 3n plus 1. Thus the sum of three consecutive integers is the multiple of 3. So there's one proof. Let's say we want to take this little line though, and we want to clean it up just a little bit. So instead of having it all in line, let's try to make it a couple lines. So if instead of just saying n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2 equals 3n plus 3 equals 3n plus 1, let's try to do a line break. So after the first 3n plus 3, let's end the math mode, do a double slash to denote that we want the line break, bring it down the next line, and then start math mode up again. Now if we hit quick build, it's again centered, and it's on two lines. But what if I don't like how this looks, and I want this equal sign here to match up with this equal sign up here? Well, there we'll want to go into a different mode. Instead of center, we'll want to use a line. And we'll want to use a line with the asterisk, just because that's not going to label each line for us. So let's begin a line, and let's end a line. Now, a line is a math environment, so we no longer need the dollar symbols. And if I go ahead and hit quick build, it's going to try to align it a little bit better. But again, I still want these equal signs lined up. Well, in align mode, if you put in an ampersand on different lines, it'll automatically align everything. So now we see if I hit quick build, these two equal signs are aligned. And that's going to do it for this video of Let's Learn LaTeX. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.